So hi everyone, my name is Shivam Bora. Welcome to the official channel of CodeShift. So if you want to learn and master data structures and algorithms, or if you want to do really good at competitive programming, then this is a one-stop destination for you. Now, before we actually get started, here's a quick reminder for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already yet. So the prerequisite for this particular course is the basic knowledge of C++ and the following data structures and algorithms. Now the next container that we are going to see is a stack. So to use a stack, we have to include this header file called as stack and to declare a stack, simply write stack, then triangular base is open and inside this simply write the data type of the stack elements and then the stack name, right? So here I have declared a stack. Now to insert an element inside the stack simply write stack name dot push and here we will insert the element so let me insert three so let's insert some more elements so i'll write stack s dot push or i'll write s dot push five right so i have inserted three elements inside my stack now at a given moment we can only access or we can only print or we can only perform perform any operation on the very last element of the stack right we cannot access the remaining elements so if let's say i want to print the very last element i'll write c out c out then stack name dot top right so now this would print the very last element inside this stack right say so if i run this code now then here we can see that five has been printed right which is the very last element if I want to print all the elements inside the stack, so what I'll do is I'll simply print the very last element, then I'll delete this element from the stack, and then I'll print the second last element, and then I'll delete it, and so on, right? So firstly, I'll write a loop while the size of my the size of my stack is greater than zero. So this basically means that my stack is not empty. And here I'll write C out S dot top right. After this, we have to delete the top. So for this, I'll write S dot pop. So if I run this code now, or let me add some space. So if I run this code now, then here we can see that the stack elements have been printed in reverse order right so basically this stack follows this stack follows leafo which means that last in first out right so the last element to be inserted inside the stack would be deleted first right hence it follows last in first out so the next container that we are going to see is a queue so to use a queue, we have to include this header file called as queue. And in stacks, we can only access the very last element. But in queues, but in queues, we can access the last, the, the last and the very first element, right? The first element to be inserted inside this queue is called as the front. And the last element to be inserted is called as the back, right? Now, we can only we can only insert elements from the back and we can only delete elements or we can only pop elements from the front in, in queues, right? So this queue follows first in first out, right? Which means that the first element to be inserted inside this queue, which is basically the front, would be the first element to be deleted, right? So to create a queue, we simply have to write queue then the data type of the elements and then a queue name right so here i have created a queue queue so to insert elements i'll write the push function so let me insert five elements so here we have five elements one two three four five inside this queue so let's print the front and the back of this queue right so queue dot back right so if I run this code now, then here we can see that 
the front of this queue is one the front of this queue is one and the back of this queue is five right the back of this queue is five so let's say i want to print all the elements of this queue so firstly i'll print the front then i'll pop it then then i'll print the new front then again i'll pop it and so on right so for this i'll use a loop while q dot size q dot size is greater than zero right so if my queue has some elements then i'll print the front of this queue so i'll print the front of this queue right then i'll delete the front using the pop function so let me add some space over here so if i run this code now then here we can see that the queue elements have been printed right and also the first element to be inserted inside this queue was one and over here the first element to be deleted the first element the first element to be deleted inside this queue was the front and the front was one so the first element to be inserted was the first element to be printed or deleted hence this queue follows first in first out right now in queues we can only pop from the front and we can only push elements from the back right now we have another container called as dq short form of double ended queues in which we can push or pop from any end of the queue right we can push or pop from any end of the queue right now this push function in queue means that we are pushing an element from the back right so the exact same function of a dq would be a push back function right and similarly the pop function in a queue means that we are popping an element from the front right so the exact same function for a dq would be a pop front function right similarly we also have a push front function other than this push back function and we also have a pop back function right so this push back is an alternative for this push function and this pop front is an alternative for this pop function so this way this dq would give us the exact same output as this q gave us in the previous program right so if i run this code now then here we here we can see that this is the exact same output which we got in the second question or which we got using simple queues right now the next container that we are going to see is a priority queue so to use the priority queue we have to include this header file called as queue so to declare it simply write priority underscore queue then triangular braces open then the data type of the elements and then the queue name right so to insert elements inside this queue we can use the push function so here i have inserted five elements five elements inside this queue right now this queue is slightly different this priority queue is slightly different than the queues that we have seen till now right this queue this priority queue does not have a front or a back right instead like stacks it has a top right now the top now the top of this priority queue would point to the largest number inside this queue right inside this priority queue so if i print the top of this queue q dot top then now this would print the largest element stored inside this queue right so if i run this code then the largest element over here is 5 so this would print 5 right now if i want to print all the elements inside this queue then i can use a loop while the size of this queue is greater than 0 so this means that it has at least one element so if my queue has an element then i'll simply print the top of this queue right so q dot top 
and after that i'll remove that top element using the pop function right so q dot pop right so now what they should do it should first print the maximum element inside this queue then the second maximum then the third maximum and so on right so in short it should it should print the numbers in descending order right so here we can see that the numbers are printed in descending order right 